Now, when you start mountain biking, it can all be a little bit overwhelming and it's very easy to make some simple mistakes that can be really costly. So let's take a look at some of those common mistakes and try to avoid them. Let's start with the bolt check. Now, when you're riding mountain bikes, there's lots of vibration and bumps and jumps and bolts can come loose. Uh, and if they do, you could be in for a nasty surprise out on the trail. So it's good to do a bolt check. Now, there's a really easy way of thinking about how you should do this is do an M bolt check. OK, so you start at the rear axle uh, and check that that's tight and then you follow your way up to the seat post, uh, checking any suspension along away and then once you've checked the seat post and seat come down to the bottom bracket checking all the bolts along the way with maybe a front derailleur if you've got one or checking the uh, bottom bracket and the pedals then move your way up keeping that M shape up to the handlebars checking all of those bolts on the stem and the bars and the levers and then down to the front axle and checking the bolts there once you've done it you've done your bolt check and your bike is safe now, are you someone who crunches your gears? This is when you just really abuse shifting through your gears, when you've got lots of power on the chain and you crunch on through, it makes lots of noise, but also that noise is damage happening to your cassette and to your chain. Uh, and it's not great for the bike and it's gonna make the parts uh, not last as long. So think about when you're changing gear, trying to come off the power a little bit, smooth changes through one gear at a time. Uh, and that way you look after your drivetrain. Um, so just think about it, when you're out on there, just back off the power a little bit. Don't crunch them gears. Oh, gear change. Oh, God, oh. Come on, gears, they didn't like that. Talking about shifting, are you a rider who's forgetting to shift? Because that's really important, choosing your gear, but before the moment you really need it. So if you're coming to a climb, you need to be thinking about what gear you're gonna need to get up that climb and drop down through the gears so you've got the right ratio and enough power to get up that climb. You're not pushing a great big gear, you're spinning your way up it. Equally, if you're coming down a great big downhill and you're still in a very high gear, you're rolling through, you haven't thought about the gears, then it comes to that moment where you want to put the bar down and whoo, there's nothing there because you're in too light a gear. You want to make sure you're into the right gear that's going to suit the speed that you're moving at. Think about those shifting. Stressing about other people's advice of a trail you want to ride. Now you can get to a stage and probably likely going to get to a stage where you want to try a trail but you're not really sure about it. It's got some obstacles or some element on it that scares you a little bit because your riding is gradually improving and have you got to a point where you can do this yet? Now, don't listen to lots of advice because they're gonna tell you, be careful for this, watch out for that, and all of this noise is gonna make you tense up and you're not gonna ride the way you really, really can. Best way to go down a new trail is follow someone down who knows it already and they're riding at a soft pace where you can just follow it down and you can see how their bike's reacting before you get to the moments on the trail and it's as easy as that. Don't get caught up in all that stress of advice because it's noise and you don't want to listen to it. Body positioning. Now this is critical. It's quite common to see a new rider on say maybe a steep descent and they're right over the back of the bike and they've got no control because they're stretched away from the bars and their bum's on the seat and they can't move their legs, uh, which isn't the position you want to be in and they've got the dropper up, not down. and. All of this stuff can be really difficult until you work out the right body position. It's so important, we made a video about it. Check this out. I think the easiest way to think about it is just your weight is your hips. And where you're putting your hips side to side or front to back, that's where your weight is on the bike. On flat ground, if your hips are above the saddle, then your weight is in the middle of the bike. To get back on the bike, drop your heels, your hips will come back towards the back wheel. You should feel comfortable going all the way back until you just touch your back wheel. Up and forward, it's not often you want your shoulders to come further forward than your bars. It's much more comfortable and easy to move your weight around on the bike if your seat is down out of the way, and that's why dropper seat posts are so good. This can be an expensive mistake, stopping on the trail. Now, if you stop on a trail, make sure you get clear of the riding line because you never know 
who's coming down that trail after you? Uh, and from experience, I can tell you, sometimes someone does come down that trail and they hit you hard. So make sure when you stop on the trail, you get off. And try not to stay uh, somewhere on the trail like a landing from a jump or a blind spot out of a corner. Just think about those other riders coming down the trail. Death gripping. What's death grip? Well, death grip's when you're not covering the levers, okay? It's when you've got all your hands on the uh, grips and the levers are sat in front of you like that. Uh, and to brake, you've got to grab for them. You need to learn to ride with a finger on the brake or even two, uh, so that the response to needing brakes is a quick one because death gripping is gonna slow you down and it's scary and you're not gonna feel in control. Once you get used to having those fingers on the brakes, it's gonna make life a whole lot easier. There you have it, some simple mistakes for you to avoid. Now, if you're one of those riders out there with a bit more experience and you know some other simple mistakes people should avoid, chuck them in the comments down below because you'll be helping out your fellow rider who might be watching this and wanting to know more. Um, while you're out there, give us a love, like and share um, and tell people about this video so we can get more mountain biking out to the masses. And until next time, I'll say goodbye.